If you've ever heard of roofing copper, you're gonna wanna listen to what I'm about to say on how to make money on it. Different scrap yards may buy roofing copper as different grades, and there's a lot of different things that confuse people. Roofing copper is not a number one. Roofing copper is not a number two. Roofing copper, at my yard, we call it a number three roofing copper. Phrases and words matter. Some yards might call it light copper or sheet copper. So sometimes there is a third category. The roofing copper could have a lot more impurities on it than normal copper pipe would. Here you see a piece of copper number two. This has solder joints on it. Here you see a piece of copper number one. Cut off, brand new, nothing on it, nice and clean. When you look at roofing copper, you can see on it that there was some tar that was on there to be able to keep the tape together. So that's a contaminant that you're not going to normally see in items like pipe. That really does make it dirty. Now, in addition to that, you're also going to have a lot more nails. These are copper nails, which is really great. It just shows that it's the whoever the roofer was was smart when they did this. Sometimes these light copper, this roofing copper will have steel nails in it. If your yard doesn't have a category for roofing copper and they buy it as a number two, my next piece of advice is don't ask any questions, right? If they buy it as a number two copper, just leave it alone and let it go. But I've never met a yard that doesn't buy roofing copper. Sometimes it's just the name. Here in New Jersey, I use number three roofing copper. As I've talked to other people, they call it light copper or copper L, L copper. Because of these contaminants like this tar on it, it should be about 10 to 15 cents cheaper than a number two, depending on what your yard is like. But if there's heavy tar on it or heavy contaminants, it could be downgraded. Sometimes we've bought roofing copper similar to like an insulated wire. Because there's so much tar all over it, we kind of treat that as a insulation or a jacket on it. Some yards that may not buy it, it's just because there's overly contaminated material, but yard by yard, case by case basis. So hopefully this helps explain a little bit of roofing copper. Any questions? Let us know.